Hello, hello. Hello out there. Hello out there. Hey, hello, hello. City and state, please. Let me know where you're calling in from. Let me know your city, your state. Don't be shy. Make sure you say hello out there to me. Hello, I see your eyes out there. How are you? Hey, Robert, how are you, dear? How is Houston, Texas? How is Houston, Texas? Hey, Madeline, how are you? I'll see you in a few moments. Hey, how are you? How are you? Ladies and gentlemen, we will get started momentarily. Go ahead, do me a favor and share this with all of your friends. Share it. Hey, Shaniqua, how are you? Hey, Lamir, how are you, dear? Make sure you're sharing this with your friends. Make sure that they are jumping on. I will be here with you just for a few moments. But I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, it is your time. It is your time right now. So as others begin to sign on, make sure you tell me city and state. Say hello so that I can say hello to you out there. I'm glad you're well. I'm glad you're well, Shaniqua. Hey, guys, if you know this is my theme song. Let me turn it up. Hopefully, hopefully it's Facebook Live I'm gonna take this down. Hopefully. Robert, Robert, Robert. I'm looking forward to coming out to Houston very, very soon to be with my dear brothers and sisters out there. Robert, it's the NRG, man. It is really the NRG that has me this hype. But no, seriously, I, I am this way all the time for life. I am this way all the time because when you are doing what you are supposed to do, when you are doing what you want to do, when you are living the life that you want, you can't be anything but full of energy and excited. So if you're just signing on, let me know. Let me know. City and state. All right, we'll get started momentarily. I would sing for you guys, but I don't want you to go anywhere. How about that? Stay in my lane. Stay in my lane. Hey, Janice, how are you, sweetheart? I hope you got everything cleared and taken care of from the storm. Hey, city and state, please. Let me know where you're at. Let me know where you're at out there. City and state. Let me turn this down a little bit, just in case social media, because I tell you, Mark and his crew, they can be a little picky out there sometimes. But needless to say, hey, Teresa Crap, how are you on this amazing evening? How are you? Welcome and thank you for joining. Guys, city and state, please, we're going to get started here in just a few seconds. I am excited. I am excited. I know you can tell. Hello there, my brother Andre. How are you out there? How are you? I am absolutely amazing, Teresa. I am wonderful. You know why? Because it's your time. It's your time. Hey, Georgia, great. It's your time to shine. It's your time to do what you need to do in order to make it happen. And that is why I am here. That is why I was created to make sure that we get that out of you so that you can do whatever it is that you are so rightfully and, 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 and um, so that you are rightfully purposed to do. The reason why you were created. Yes, yes, yes. So guys, I'm going to turn this down. We're going to go ahead and get started. Well, I turned it up a little bit, I tell you. We're going to go ahead and get started. Um, good evening, each and every one of you guys. I, I tell you what, I'm excited because I haven't done, I haven't done a Facebook Live like this where I am teaching. I am teaching some principles. I haven't done that in probably a week. Well, no, no, a week and a half. Why? Because it was called Hurricane Matthew. So it, uh, it hindered my ability to get on social media, you know, because it was that power thing and that, uh, that, uh, cable and that wireless internet services that was just not going to act right. But I am glad you are here and I am truly back with each and every one of you. For those of you who do not know who I am, my name is Martha Cooper Hudson. I am your comeback coach, the extractor of purpose. I am the CEO and founder of Women of Greatness, but more than anything else, I'm an amazing wife, I'm an amazing mother, 
I am a serial entrepreneur who enjoys speaking, training, and being your comeback coach. I spent over 10 years in the industry of network marketing as a six-figure income earner for multiple companies. But ladies and gentlemen, my purpose today, my purpose today is to equip, inspire, motivate, and empower each of you to not only stand up, suit up, but take your business and our purpose to the next level. So I want to ask you a question today. Are you sick and tired of feeling like you are stuck and your business is going backwards? If you say yes, hello, my awesome brother, my mentor, my million dollar friend. Hello there, Mr. Jared Wilkins. Thank you for joining me this evening. Hello, Donelia. I see you out there. Hey, Sharon. I see you out there. Nathaniel, my brother behind Black Empowerment. Hello there, my brother. Glad you could join me this evening. Glad you could join me this evening. So back to my question. My question was, are you stuck? Are you stuck and tired of feeling like you are stuck in your business is going absolutely backwards? You know, we're looking for that good stuff, you know, tighten up on that backstroke. That is what, that is what most people are feeling right now. So if the answer is yes, here's what I want you to do. I want you to take out a pen and a piece of paper because I'm going to quickly share with you Three simple but yet powerful steps that will jumpstart your engine. That's right. Three simple yet powerful steps that will jumpstart your engine. Number one, you must be able to define your why and gain true clarity on why you want what you want. I'll say that again. You must be willing and able to define your why and gain clarity on why you want what you want. Hello, my sister Arcella out there in California. How are you this evening? So I want you to ask yourself this. Why are you doing what you are doing? Why? What is the very reasons why you are doing what you are doing? Whether it's your business, whether it's your job, whether it's your career, whatever it is, ask yourself that pertinent question on a tablet. And, and I want you to answer that for yourself. Why are you doing what you are doing? The next question I want you to ask yourself is, why did you start your business? Why did you enter into a business? Why did you partner with someone to go into a business? And then the third question I want you to ask yourself is, why do you want to be successful? Now, here's the key, because how you answer these questions is really going to depend on whether or not you can get yourself out of that mud. Here in the low country, they call it pluck mud. I'm from Florida. I'm not from the low country, but they call it pluck mud. Can you get yourself out of that sinking mud that's causing you to sink? Well, here's how you can do just that. Because when you are very clear on the reason why you want what you want, when I ask people, why do you want? People say, Martha, I want to be successful. My question to them is, but why? I want to make a million dollars, but why? I want to start this business, but why? When you become very clear on your reason why, trust me, there's no room for you to be stuck. When you decide and when you know the answers. Now, I don't need superficial answers. See, I know most of you all are thinking, well, I want, I started this business for, to gain my time with financial freedom. I started this business so that I could leave an inheritance for my children's children. I started this business so that I can take care of my mother. I started this business so I can do A, B, C, and D. Let me say this to you, that those reasons are not powerful enough because you will quit on those reasons. Think about it. If those reasons was powerful enough, you would already be where you want to be on that level of success, having those millions of dollars in your bank account, having multiple businesses that are successful, that are prosperous, that are blessing people's lives. If those reasons were good enough, 
but they are not good enough in order for you to keep going deeper. See, when I sat down, when someone asked me that question for the very first time, and I told them, I said, in 12 months, I need to make at least six figures at a minimal of 700,000 in the next 12 months. And they simply asked me why. And I started it off just like most people. Well, I want to bless my children. Well, I want my time back. I want to be financially free. What are you going to do with your time and being when you are financially free? What are you going to do? What levels and what steps are you going to take when you have reached that? See, and then I started to go deeper. I started to make sure I really understood why I wanted the income that I wanted. See, there's, there's 40 students out there that I want to give scholarships to, that's right, educational scholarships to, who cannot rightfully afford to go to college, but at least the m and Foundation can at least help with that burden that most people have when it's time to send their student when it's time to send their kids off to college. The second thing was I knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that I wanted to be like Shark Tank. There are people out there that's just like me, that's just like you, that one time fell on tremendous hard times, could not start a business, but have great ideas stuck right there in their membrane. And the only thing that's blocking them is finance. The only thing that's blocking them is the finances. So I want to be able to bless someone as they start up their new business. And then I simply said, I simply said, you know, my parents are getting older. I realized that, you know, I know I look 25. Don't say a word. Look straight ahead. I know I look 25. However, I'm 46. My mother is almost 70. I realize that we're going to be taking care of them as they continue to get older. I needed to make sure that I had X amount of dollars generated in a bank account so that I could take care of them without a problem. And I also knew that my children will never, ever, ever go to college and come out in debt. No, because I needed to make sure that they can go to college, get the education that they need, and they come back and they work the family's empire. See, you got to know why you want it, because that why is what's going to make you lose sleep at night. That why is going to be the one thing that allows you to continue to push, move, and go each and every time. So number one, you must be able to define and gain clarity on the reason why you want what you want. And remember what I said, you must go deeper. You must go deeper and deeper into why it is that you want what you want. Now, number two, ask yourself a serious question. What's holding you back? What's holding you back? What's holding you back from that level of success? What's holding you back from the financial level that you want? What's holding you back from um, achieving time freedom and financial freedom? What's holding you back from starting that business? Well, I can tell you what's holding you back. They are called distractions. They are called distractions or scars from the past. They are called scars from the past that is hijacked your future. That's holding your future hostage because you haven't dealt with those scars from the past. Every time it looks as if you're going to be successful and move forward, those scars hinder you. Like you hear that voice that said, you'll never amount to anything. You will never be successful. You're too ugly to be successful. You're too fat to be this. No one will love you. No one will listen to you. You don't have what people want. You don't have the finances. You know, you tell yourself that third person on your shoulder, you know, that little one that says, girl, you must be saying because you can't have what you want because no one else in your family has had that your environment you're still holding on to the blame and the shame from the molestation that took place when you was a child that's holding you hostage today as an adult so it's it's your self-esteem is lowered it's giving you it's not giving you the ability and the confidence that you need so you got to be able to deal with those you got to be able to remove those distractions because they will show up in every form in every place in your business right when you think that you have gotten up and you're moving forward, you get stuck again. You know why? Because you're refusing to deal with the distractions in your life. But here's a secret. Here's how you can deal with that. See, your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between reality and not. So there 
Therefore, you can trick your subconscious mind by flowing in only positive sides of your mind that allows your subconscious mind to hear that. I didn't come. I didn't come. I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth. But what I was, what I did have, I had the ability after years of being, listen, Martha Cooper Hudson has, I have dropped out of college. I have failed. I have failed multiple times in, in businesses. I've had it all. I've lost it all, all of the above. But I can tell you what, when I started surrounding myself with people who were speaking life into me and gave me some tools in order for me to utilize, trust me, guys, I used to go to sleep with a speaker pillow under my pillow, listening to only positive affirmation, listening to my voice. My voice, I will record my voice on tape and play it back, speaking only life into me. So trust me when I say, you can turn this thing around, but trust me, Rome wasn't built in a day and you will not be built in a day. But when you eliminate the distractions, you begin to become unstuck. So you must start speaking to your subconscious mind and speaking only the right words. Guys, I wish you could see on my wall, see on my wall here, wealth and riches shall be in my house. Uh, eyes have not seen, nor ears have not he heard, nor has it entered into the heart of man what God has for me. I am loving. I am fearless. God is my CEO. I am a multimillionaire. I, I attract money to me. I am building it for my last name. So you have to speak these things to yourself. I am bold. I am righteous. I am the head and not the tail. I am the lender and not the borrower. You got to speak those words when no one else, when no one else is speaking those words to you. You have to make sure that you are doing it. See, the, re the, re the reality of it all is that where you are today, you spoke that into existence. You spoke that into existence one way or the other, by your actions, by your thoughts, or by your words. You spoke where you are into existence. And so your life, your life was created with word. With words, with word, your life was created. So whatever you feed, whatever you feed will live and whatever you starve must die. So if you stop Feeding the negativity that's coming out your mouth like, oh, I'm broke. Oh, I don't have enough money. Oh, I don't have A, B, C, and D. If you stop speaking those negative things into your life, they must die because you are not feeding them. Oh, I can't have this. I can't live in this community. I can't drive the Maserati. I can't drive the Bentley. I can't send 40 students to college. I can't start 20 businesses with uh, single moms and dads. I can't, I can't, I can't. So with that, you get exactly what you say. But he simply said that we can have any and everything we say. But most people are so busy saying what they do not have. Most people are so busy saying what they do not have. Like, I am broke. I can't afford it. I am living paycheck to paycheck. I hate my job. I despise my marriage. My marriage isn't good. My children are crazy. You get just what you say because the world was created by our words. So you must eliminate the distractions. You must eliminate distractions out of your life. Recognize them and let them go. Recognize them and let them know from this point forward, you cannot have my success. You cannot hold it hostage. And I am moving forwardly to the level in which I am so rightfully supposed to be. Now, so before I give you number three, there are a couple of things I want to tell you before I give you this last bullet that's going to blow your mind. Make sure that you are following me at uh, www.yourcomebackcommunity.com. Make sure you go over there, you join my community at yourcomebackcommunity.com. If you want to get your free ebook that's simply entitled Stand Up, Suit Up, and Discover Your Purpose, go over now to www.yourcomebackcoach.com. Go over to www.yourcomebackcoach.com in order to get this. But ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to go deeper, if you would like to go deeper with me 
and learn how to get unstuck and take your business to the next level. Starting on Tuesday, November 1st, starting Tuesday, November 1st, I will be doing a four week group coaching session for only 12, get this, only 12 serious entrepreneurs, serious individuals who are really ready to go deeper and take their business to the next level. That coaching session will be online so you can be in your pajamas, you can be in your home, you can be wherever it is that you need to be in order to be a part of that group coaching session. And you can take advantage of that group coaching session for a simple $97 for you to invest in yourself, to go deeper, to go higher and go to the next level. So how can you do that? Get a pen, make sure you write this down. Again, make sure you write this down. It is www.paypal.me forward slash purpose, the number two, profits. Again, that's www.paypal.me forward slash purpose, the number two, profits. For you to take advantage of that with $97 will get you the four weeks of serious one-on-one -on -one group coaching with me and 12 other individuals. Now, as I said, it's not for everybody and that is okay. But for those of you who are ready and tired, who's sick and tired of being stuck, who's sick and tired of being frustrated, who need to take their business to the next level and want to spend some quality time to get to know what it is that Martha really knows about taking your business to the next level, then that is for you. So let me get back to number three. I hope you have a pen and a paper for number three. Ask yourself, what problem does my clients have or my customers have and what is my solution to their problem? What problem does my clients have and what is my solutions to their problems? See, once you have realized and recognized your ideal avatar, who it is that you are looking for, who it is that you are doing your business for, why you are in business, that ideal clientele who's following you, who's investing in you and want what you have, once you have realized what problems they have and what pains are they suffering from, then your company will have that solution. So if you have a weight loss business or a health and wellness company, and you know that people are having your clientele are having problems with losing weight, they're having problems with getting grips and getting a handle on their health, then your solution would be your amazing products that you have to offer those solutions to what it is. If you are, if you have a resume writing company, and you know that people need proper resumes done and and they are and they don't know how to write them correctly to get their resume at the top of the bunch then your problem your solution to that is your great resume writing skills ladies and gentlemen trust me every problem has a solution and that solution is called is called somebody's business that solution may be the gifts that you have inside of you in order for them to take whatever and get rid of those problems that they're having in their lives. So ladies and gentlemen, as a recap, as a recap, number one, you must define and gain clarity on your why. Why do you want it? Why do you must have it? You got to go deeper than your family. If you go with your family, you will quit on them every time because you would have been where it is that you want to be in business by now if you were doing it for your family. If your family was enough to keep you moving, trust me, we all would be multimillionaires. But trust me when I say you will quit every time and you will get tired every time. But if it's deeper than who you are, is it deeper than your family? You will go that extra mile. I am on a mission to impact a million lives, a million lives in the next mm, five years with a million lives, maybe more than that. But before I leave this planet now, because I'm not going anywhere until I'm about 98, I will impact it over a billion lives with my gifts. So you got to understand what it is and why it is that you are doing. Then ask yourself, 
what's holding you back. Ask yourself what's holding you back and realistically look at those distractions that's holding you from going to the next level. Because whether you like it or not, they will hijack. They will hijack your future because you are so busy moonwalking like Michael Jackson towards your past. There's a reason why you got two eyes in the front of your head and not in the back. He wants you to look forward and look straight ahead to where it is that you are going. And number three, ask yourself, ask yourself what problems, what problems and pain does my customers have and what are my solutions to solving those? When you get those three things down, when you get those three things embedded into your membrane, when you start to activate those three things in your life, I promise you, you will be unstuck. You will, you, you will no longer be tired. You will no longer be stuck. Your business will go to the next level. So remember, if you want to spend some quality time and go even deeper with your comeback coach, Martha Cooper Hudson, here's what you need to do. Go to www.paypal.me forward slash purpose, the number two profits and secure your space because I'm only taking 12 individuals in this four week group coaching session starting November 1st. And if you are one of those individuals, I will definitely see you over there in group coaching. And remember that Martha Cooper Hudson will see you at the top because ladies and gentlemen, the bottom is truly too crowded. And if you like the bottom, you stay there. But if you want to go to the top, then come join us where the spaces are at your fingertips. You know why? Because most people are too afraid to go to the top. Most people are too afraid to live out their dreams and most people most people will allow any and everybody to take them off of their dreams take them off of their game and abort remember that distractions are, are simple things that will come to you to delay derail and abort your mission and that mission is for you to impact the lives of millions of people around. So this is Martha Cooper Hudson, your comeback coach, the extractor of purpose, letting you know that it is your time. Rosalind, hey, sweetheart, I see you. Derek Davis, I see you out there. Kimberly, welcome. Nina, thank you for joining. Melanie Ford, thank you for joining. Jermaine, my sister, thank you for joining. Tyrone Jackson, I see you out there. Derek Adams, thank you for joining. Could, Arletha, thank you for joining. Elonda from Savannah, thank you. Nina, Lemire, Sharon, Janice, Donna, Patrice, my sister from Bermuda, thank you for joining. Melissa Newton, thank you for being out there. And be blessed, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, 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 is that Nicole? Nicole S. Cooper. Thank you for joining. Tashina, thank you for joining. Samuel, thank you for joining. Kevin, Bob Gooch, China, thank you for being on this evening. Dorothy, thank you. Arcella, I want to come to California, young lady. Thank you. Simi, thank you for being out there. My mentor, my million dollar brother, Mr. Jared Wilkins, thank you for being on this evening. Andre Amager, Donelia, thank you, thank you, thank you. Shaniqua, thank you, and I will see you tomorrow here on Facebook Live. Be blessed.